Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, I'm hopefully going to be picking up a new spell called Eternal Darkness. Yeah, sounds ominous, doesn't it? And she takes 35 intelligence to actually wield it, and I've only got intelligence of 30. So probably a pointless exercise, but here we go. We're going to be heading over to the actual... It was a church where there was a lady that was doomed by rot. Yeah, I think it's here. The, the, the Church of Plague. Sounds inviting, doesn't it? So that's where we're off to, over there, to the Church of Plague we go. So yeah, so this church, it's got this lady in it that seems to be blighted by the rot. Yeah, not a very nice plight to have. No, hopefully we can fix that mend her somehow. If you do know how, put it inside of the comments. That'd be freaking awesome of you. Thanking you. Awesome. Anyhow, let's get on our horse and we're going to be heading over to the Midway Castle. I call it the Midway Castle mainly because if you can't get past these guys inside of this Midway Castle, you're not going to get to the point where this actual spell is that I've come across. So here we go. Let's head on down. Now, I did try doing it. I don't know if it was on a live video. I know that I've tried this umpteen billion times. And in the end, I had to go over the back end and go down into where I was trying to get to. So, yeah, let's just loop around and we'll see what we can actually do from this side so here we are so this is the midway castle that i'm on about there's three wizards that appear in here two that have got swords and one that's got a wand so there's one mage and two warrior type priests in there now i tend to go in and lure them towards me oh you see underneath my energy bars i've got that little red block under there that's from that maiden that cuddles you inside of the uh, round table it's actually a debuff so if I don't win this time, I'm going to use that debuff because once once you use the debuff, it, it sort of buffs you for a bit of extra protection. Anyhow, there we go. I'm going to lure him back. Come, come and get me. Come get me. There we go. I'm that. I completely didn't get him. Right there we go. We've got him. We've got him back. Lovely. Take that scallywag. Now sometimes if you're very lucky, you could just summon your horse again and ride straight through here really quickly. But there you go. I just done it on foot. Nice. There's two others that do spawn in there. So yeah, sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes not so lucky. Now what I would suggest is there's a bad guy inside of this castle ruins up here, and he is super duper hard. And these rams tend to ram you. They headbutt you, and they actually do you damage. The freaking little sheep. So be careful of the sheep. The sheep are dangerous. And they're goats. They're not sheep. Yes, I've got the horns. They're the boy sheep. Yeah, run. Okay, cool. Right, let's get off of here before the silence of the lambs is broken and I get butchered. Let's head on over here. Now, there's this little chap inside of the bottom of here. He doesn't look like he's all that much to tangle with. Look, he looks like he's cowering. But no, he can freaking teleport. This guy's a freaking ninja. Look at that. It's like something out of freaking Dragon Ball Z. Instant translocation. And I've got one of those rams ramming me in the freaking backside as well. So there we go. Boom. I'm dead. Didn't stand a freaking chance. No. Didn't stand a chance. So, I've got to go back through all that rigmarole again of fighting those three wizards in the way castle. <sighs> Fudge. But lucky for you, power of editing, I reconvene and I went round the back of that tower and now I've used my horse to get all the way over here on this sort of higher area. I can see there was a message on top of here. So yeah, I headed over to this rock first and I figured let's take him out from distance because I am a mage after all. Hopefully you've got a bow and arrow or crossbow or something where you might be able to pull the same sort of shenanigans off. Here we go, I've locked onto him and let's use my new meteorite spell. Meteors to the face! Boom! Didn't quite connect, did it? Right. But it's got his attention. He's moved forwards. Is he in my hitting range now? Yes, just. We've done him a little bit of damage. Let's see if we can get him before he gets me. Oh, fudge. I'm running out of magic now. Take that, you. You scutter. Right out. I'm going to have to freaking consume a magical vase in a moment, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to have to induce a magical vase. And yeah, he can't get me. Brilliant. The higher ground is mine. You are dead. Dead and dead to this world. Heck yes, you are. Chicka boom. Dead, dilly, dead, 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 dead. Nice. Cool. And now I can head inside of this um, ranshackled little house. It does look like there's some sort of um, platform up there looking at this back. So maybe you might be able to get something else on top. Don't know. Didn't try. Might have to go back there. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Awesome. So we've got a new spell. Before we do anything, let's just go back to an actual sort of, I don't know, what are they called? The resting camps or whatever. 
places of grace we'll go back to one of those and we'll see how much intelligence it does take for this spell i think it's 35 and i think i have 30 but just to be sure let's go and see if we can memorize a new spell so there we go memorize spell you don't put these on from your inventory no you have to do it from one of these places of grace and go to memorize spells and look at that it's going to cost 35 intelligence i'm going to go up five more levels can i level up because i have killed quite a lot over there nope no i can't i need 10 times as many freaking souls uh, or runes sorry runes yes okay well i guess i'm going to be doing that i'm going to have to do a bit of farming get up those five levels and then i've seen some sneaky armor that i want to try and go and get yeah so it's going to be farming some individual so you know what there we go do my little sign like a ballerina from hell yes awesome and then i'm going to say cheery bye to you all so yeah goodbye goodbye and goodbye again heck yes until next time cheery byes people you've been awesome all twenty-one thousand of you well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.